This video is for Mr. Ellis's integrated math class. Uh, the video will cover reflection. Here again, we have uh, a shape or image on the coordinate plane. This time, we would like to reflect that image. Now, as you recall, as you reflect across an axis, the opposite coordinate gets multiplied by negative 1, or is, has the rule of negative 1 applied, which is simply changing the sign. So if we reflect across the y-axis, the x-coordinate of every point gets the sign change. If we reflect across the x-axis, the y-coordinate of every point gets the sign change. Okay. We need, again, three things. We need uh, a shape, which is provided by these points and these pre-existing bars. And we need uh, the line of reflection, which is in there somewhere. And we need to know which one has the rule applied, which coordinate has the rule applied. So let's start by graphing these points. Here we go. Is positive 4, positive 5, 2, 4, 2, 4, 5, right in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Got that H1N1. Uh, 5, 1, 2, 4, 5, positive 1, and 1, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, now I'm going to attach my sides. Okay, and that is a triangle. Now, the difference between reflection and a translation is a translation gives you a rule that you apply to every point. Uh, a reflection gives you a line of reflection. And in this case, the line of reflection will be the x-axis. So we're going to reflect this image across the x-axis, which means that the opposite coordinate gets the rule of negative 1 applied. So y coordinates times negative 1. And let's see. <coughs> we have 4, and my y is 5. So y times negative 1 is negative 5. Let's plot that point. Positive 4. 2, 4, 2, 4, 5. And if you would note, please, the x coordinate does not change in this case. Okay. So let's find another y. And we've got negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. So it's 5, negative 1, 2, 4, 5, negative 1. And finally, positive 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So it is 1, 2, 3. Now, my concern here is that I'm able to place this shape on these three dots. Let's see. That for an old sick guy. Okay. All right. This is 
D. E and F. Now, what I'd like you to notice is that when we were working with reflection, uh, sorry, this is reflection, when we were working with translation, the entire figure was moved to the translated points. In this case, with reflection, what we see is that the shape flips over the x-axis. In effect, what we're doing is giving it a mirror image. Okay, and you can tell that by E. It's not pointing down. It's now pointing up. Okay. This has been a video from Mr. Ellis's Integrated Math 2 class, Reflections.